Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a review of the 2017 Up A Baby Vista. So we got the stroller like a couple months before my daughter was born, so about six months ago. And I did a lot of research about strollers and this was definitely the one that we loved the most. A lot of different factors went into that, so we really loved how easy it was to move around. I think that if you go into any store with strollers and you look at, or you actually drive them, I mean, the Uppa Baby compares to kind of, the Uppa Baby doesn't compare to anybody else, basically, in my opinion. It's super easy to drive, um, the maneuverability is awesome, so I think that's one thing that sold me. There were so many other strollers that we tried that just were almost difficult to get around. And if you have a big stroller, why are you wanting to make it hard to drive with the baby in it? So that was kind of my number one thing um, in loving this stroller. And then it was just so easy to use on top of the maneuverability. So you'll see here in a second, there's like a click system and every piece uses that click system. So the bassinet, the like toddler seat, um, we also got the Uppa Baby Mesa, so the car seat, all of that just clicks in and has a really click, um, has a really easy click out system as well. So I also forgot to say that, um, so Uppa Baby I'm pretty sure is coming out with a new version, I think, or at least updates to the Vista for 2018 and I think that they're supposed to announce those updates this month so I definitely wanted to get in this review so you guys can see it and um, I'm pretty sure I've also read that even though the 2018 stroller will be different um, or be updated you can purchase some of those upgrades and attach them to previous year strollers which I think it's really awesome and quite honestly thoughtful of the company. So, um, because as you will see, um, I'll link as much as I can that you see of today's video down below. And as you will see, the stroller is not the cheapest one. So I will go ahead and give you a hands-on view of the Uppa Baby 2017 Mesa stroller. Okay, so here is the Uppa Baby stroller. Um, again, the 2017 Uppa Baby Vista. Um, and the only thing that you guys are not going to get if you buy this bundle is the car seat right there. So that's the Mesa and that has to be purchased separately. So just a heads up on that. And then obviously there's a couple different, um, attachments I have on the stroller itself that don't come with it. Those are totally different brands. Um, I'll talk about it and let you guys know what they are in case you want to look into that as well. Also, side disclaimer, please forgive um, the dog stuff in the background and the mess that is um, our living room. You may even see the dog. She might make a guest appearance. So just a heads up about that. So first I will talk to you about the stroller itself. Again, you can see um, that it is the Uppa Baby Vista. I know that they have a cruise and um, it just wasn't as big. I think it's more of a compact stroller. I'm not totally sure. I didn't do all the research on the cruise as I did as I did as I did the Vista. Um, I do know that the Vista also can turn into a double stroller so um, you can buy attachments or whatever. I haven't Again, I haven't looked into that because we don't need a double, double stroller yet, but I know that was a big um, reason for our purchase of it as well, just for thinking, you know, possibly future kids. Um, since it is such a large purchase, um, you want it to be um, hopefully sticking around for a long time. So this is the toddler seat, um, or basically just the regular stroller seat. And it has this really nice um, strap system. So I know it looks like there's a lot of straps, but there's this piece right in the middle, which connects to this centerpiece. So you put baby in and then you just snap those in really quick. And then these, um, 
adjust just by pulling on them. So that's really convenient and nice. So here is the footrest and it does adjust to different heights. And I will go ahead and insert a clip of what it looks like having to do that. It's really easy. And then the toddler seat also adjusts height. So um, in order to do that really easy, you come back behind here. There is a little um, button, like a little latch basically. And you push that in and it goes up and down to multiple heights. So really easy. You can have it laying back. Um, I think people say for when you're, I think for when baby's sleeping. Um, so kind of a nice option. Then there's also this, um, I don't know, do people call this the canopy? I don't know, the cover. And it extends um, as far as that. Oh, there's Starla, she's maybe gonna go to bed. Um, so I really like this, it's really durable um, and resistant to weather, I feel like. Um, this is actually an, a little extra part of the canopy and it is UV, UV 50 plus protection. That's what that says right there. So I think that that's awesome. Um, and again, this is in like the full laid down. So when you put it up into the actual seat, you can see that the canopy itself comes down really far. Um, I've had to use that a lot of times just to block the sun out of baby's eyes. And then it also has this flap on the back. So a little see-through area or air ventilation um, that's really nice and then here's this little toggle piece on from the vented area if you roll this up you can attach it to here so it stays yes that is a care bear blanket in the back for our dog um, but you can roll this so that it stays otherwise when it flaps back down uh, I don't know if you heard that but there's magnets there so that's how it keeps stayed down stayed down is that the right wording I don't know and then how you remove it I will insert a clip of how to remove this toddler seat Okay, and before I move on to um, the other different types of seats you can use, I will talk to you a little bit about this stroller, um, the base of it. So as you can see, there's a pretty big basket. I honestly didn't pay attention much to um, the basket size of other strollers, but I hear this one's pretty big. So it has a lot of storage, really nice. Um, we definitely use that. And then up here, this is how you adjust the height of the handlebars. So pushing this in, um, you can come up or down, which is nice for um, you know differences in height. Just to talk a little bit about some of the accessories I have on here. So this is a Jujube diaper bag clip. So um, you can easily attach your diaper bag to the side. I know that they make different brands um, of these things, but I just purchased the Jujube ones and really like them. And you can use them for obviously any bag that, at least I think you can use them for any bag that has these two little um, circle clips on the side. Um, Cause we definitely have used it for like purse or whatever beforehand. I also have this thing called the mommy hook. So I'm sure if you're a mom, you've seen these out there and you can use them for adding extra bags, maybe that you can't fit on the bottom. What I will say is um, on this, the stance of the stroller is relatively wide. I know you probably can't get a good feel for that in this video, but it's pretty wide. And um, if you hang things on the side, you have more of a chance of running into things. So if you're doing some major shopping, it's it's still going to be a little bit difficult to get around, but um, so that does not come with, and obviously neither do these clips. And then I do have this organizer 
here for the handles, or yeah, attached to the handlebar. It has a cup holder, um, two pockets here, and then one pocket on the back. I will say this comes separately, so we had to purchase it and then add it afterwards. Um, but I honestly probably couldn't live without this thing. It just houses my phone, keys. I put a toy here for baby when she's in it, different things. So I definitely recommend this. And it is the Up a Baby brand one. And then I do also have a cup holder, an additional cup holder, and it attaches to this little piece here. Um, so like a, it is up a baby cup holder and I attach it here. Um, this little piece is, came with the cup holder, so this isn't already on your up a baby, but um, I don't have that on there right now. To be honest, again, it makes the stroller wider, so it's harder to get in and out and it does knock off easily. So if you're running through somewhere and you know, you're wider and you hit something, that cup holder is gonna come off. So I don't have it on right this second, but. So again, all of those things um, that I just talked about are separate, except for the basket. The basket comes with the base model. But all of these little accessories that I just talked about, those are secondary, so they do not come with the stroller when you buy it. Really quick, I will show you how it locks. Um, so this little foot pedal down here, you just have to hit it. And then it has red and green. So red is when it's locked and green, green, green is when it's ready to go. So super easy. I will also show you guys how it folds down after I have um, put on all of the different seats. So I think next I will show you the bassinet. Okay, so here is the stroller with um, the infant bassinet. I This is honestly, I think, the number one reason why we got this stroller. I really wanted a bassinet option because I really thought we were going to use it, and I did. Like, we used this stroller in the bassinet um, way so many times. So I really love the bassinet option. I know other strollers say that they have a bassinet option, but it really is just this type seat, this, the toddler seat when it's fully reclined. And I really wanted a real bassinet option. So this was the main, again, the main reason we really loved the stroller on top of everything else we liked about it, like I already said. Um, so the bassinet is pretty deep and super padded. It comes with this little zip-on cover, so I know um, when I was pregnant during the winter, I saw a lot of mamas using these things to give their baby extra protection um, during the, you know, the cold. Um, so then it does fold down that you guys can see all the way, but it also folds up all the way to that and I will put in a clip of how I fold this down as well. So it's really easy. So also on this is a vented area. So you can pull this up. This is like still screen. I don't know if you can see that on the video, but um, we've used that on walks and um, you know, just different times when we wanted there to be a little bit more light. And again, they've used magnets right here to keep it up when it's up. Otherwise you pull it down and you can just leave it like this or if you want it to be extra secure, there is a zipper that you can zip it all the way around. So we really love that and honestly, we used um, this bassinet like crazy. So getting the bassinet off and on is really similar to the car seat. So I will insert a clip of how you get this bassinet off and on. And I will say that on all of the attachments, I don't know if you can see this in the video, there we go, maybe that's a little bit better. It's green when you've attached it to the click-in system correctly. So um, sometimes like when I was in the store testing it out, I, I was like, you know, it doesn't quite feel like it's in there and it'll let you know that it's correctly latched in with that green sign. Otherwise, it is red. So something I didn't say about the toddler seat, but also applies to um, this infant bassinet, 
is it can face different directions. So right now it's facing mom or whoever's pushing the stroller, but it can also face out, so away from whoever's pushing the stroller. So again, that's both an option for the bassinet or the toddler's seat. Now I'm going to insert a video clip of how you break down the stroller. Um, it's also really simple. One thing I will say is the stroller is relatively heavy. I mean, I think that's something that maybe I didn't realize going into the, into the mom product world is that even though they try to make them really light and convenient, like this 2017 model was updated to be even lighter than the previous model, it is still heavy. The car seat's still heavy. It just is insane. All I yeah. do yeah. is adore you all of the time. I'd like to I'd like to I'd like to Okay you guys, so I will go ahead and insert a clip of me inserting um taking putting on and taking off the Mesa car seat. So again, that's the only thing besides a couple of things that I said specifically, that's the only thing that didn't come with the stroller set. So you do have to buy the car seat separately. Um, if you guys want me to do a review of that particular car seat, then just let me know down in the comments and I'd be happy to do that. We did go ahead and purchase the um, 2017 Mesa in the Henry color because it's flame retardant wool. Um, so again, if you guys want to hear more about that, let me know down in the comments and I'll do a separate video for that. I just didn't want to include it specifically in this video because it is confusing that it does not come with the stroller. You do have to buy it separately. So it basically is really similar to the bassinet in that it has a push button system on the top. Basically, I mean, every seat has a push button. Um, it just kind of depends on where it is, but the push button for the car seat and the push button for the bassinet are the same when you take them on and off the stroller and then um, the toddler seat is just a little bit different but still like a push button to get into that click system I will just say again we love this stroller um, we do really like the car seat as well I love how convenient it is, the maneuverability, um, you know, just everything about it. We really like, and it is a little bit pricier, so, but I'm one of those people who thinks in most cases you get what you pay for, and I definitely felt like strollers were in that category. A stroller is something that we really use all the time, and so we really needed it to be durable and amazing and something that we could keep around for years to come so we are really happy with the vista from up a baby if you guys have any questions let me know down in the comments and hope you guys like this video definitely give it a thumbs up if you liked it to hit that subscribe button down below if you are new so that you can keep following along with our channel thanks for watching you guys i'll see you next time